Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We are your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. If you have questions about a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, questions about ingredients or formulations, 866-844-236-6010. It's our number, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the uh, longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you're an entrepreneur or you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if working out of your home appeals to you, if being your own boss appeals to you, if working as few or as many hours as you like appeals to you, you want to at least check out the Longevity Entrepreneur Business Opportunity for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself and not just any business, but a business that really makes a difference, a business that helps change lives, a business that improves lives at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health. If you've benefited from nutritional supplements or the longevity supplements, or if you're health minded, and I know there's a lot of you guys who just like the, the idea of health, the idea of being healthy and the idea of teaching other people to be healthy. This is an awesome way to make some money and help change the world. No exaggeration, really help change the world at the most basic and fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health. Please click on the join the team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. You can also call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 to order products or for more information on joining the Brightside Ben team, 866-735-2470. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side. We're going to get your phone calls in our second segment if you've got questions for me or questions or comments or success stories at 844-236-6010. We have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard, who is the producer and host of a radio program called Waking Up in America. She is a uh, licensed marriage family and counseling therapist, and she's also a uh, healer in the sense that she's healed. She healed herself of cancer. I'm always interested in how people reverse disease on their own without doctors. I'm always fascinated what people leverage, what people exploit, what people take advantage of in their bodies to heal themselves. And it happens all the time, all the time. We don't get told about this. I have a book called Spontaneous Remissions. That's 700 pages of case studies on various cancers that have just spontaneously remitted. So we know that disease can reverse itself. And I'm always fascinated by folks who leverage this healing and reversing property themselves. And Val has uh, done that with cancer. She's actually cured herself of cancer. Uh, I think she told me it was breast cancer, but we'll be talking to Do- uh, Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard at the bottom of the hour. We'll get to your calls here in our next segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. So we have been talking about fats, which are the storage form of energy that allows the body and it's 100 trillion cells, 100 trillion or so. Nobody really knows how many cells are in the human body. You hear various numbers from 1 trillion to 50 trillion to 100 trillion. I'm going to go with 100 trillion. That's just so amazing to me. In any case, these, uh, each one of these cells requires energy to do its work, and that energy comes 
from fats. This is, uh, cellular energy is what happens on the microscopic level, but from a practical standpoint, all the things we do, from wiggling our fingers and toes to blinking our eyes to combing our hair and brushing our teeth and all the various functions, all the various activities that we perform uh, every day, nearly endless, nearly infinite amount of activities that are occurring uh, that we, we do in our lives, all occurs via the action of energy and the energy that comes from fats. Fats and uh, these little tiny structures in the cells called the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the ultimate destination of our dietary fats, along with the cell membrane, and along with the stuff that gets stored in fat cells. This uh, electrical energy that's trapped in fats is somehow transformed magically, miraculously. How this happens is, is just the most mind-blowing biochemical, really quantum biochemical process, meaning extremely, extremely, extremely tiny levels, how energy is transformed into, how fat is transformed into usable energy in the mitochondria. The fat, as we've said numerous times, is stored in, uh, or the energy is stored in the fats, but it requires the actions of water-soluble molecules like the B vitamins and the electrolytes and vitamin C and and coenzyme Q10 and carnitine. These various water-soluble nutrients help transport the electrical energy that's stored in the fats. You need everything. So I don't want to really, fo I mean, we're focusing on the fats, but I don't want to give the idea that it's only about the fats. We need, we need all the mighty 90 essential nutrients. And that's really what the mighty 90 essential nutrients do at the most fundamental level is they help, help the body turn food into energy. F whether that food is sugar, or whether that food is fat, or for that matter, whether that food is protein. And while this may sound simplistic, it kind of puts energy production chemistry into a practical concept. Fats and water-soluble nutrients are both required along with digestive health in order for the body to have the energy it needs to do its business. Mitochondrial health, by the way, that's kind of the latest fad, latest fashionable focus for the healthcare world, uh, the mainstream healthcare world. Pharmaceutical companies and doctors are focusing on the mitochondria more and more, and also the alternative healthcare world, although I have to say, the folks in alternative medicine have known about or have talked about the mitochondria for a really long time. And this is all for a good reason. It's the mitochondria. You got um, th anywhere from 100 to 1,000 in any one cell. They're super tiny. You could fit 80 mitochondria across uh, the width of a, a hair. These little tiny structures are what convert the fats into energy to allow the body to perform its nearly endless biological function, functions. Take home message here, folks, is that working with fats is extremely important. And from a real life perspective, that means focusing on the fat processing systems in the body at the level of the digestive system. Love talking about the mitochondria. I love talking about what's called electron transport and how electricity and energy are formed from food. That is just so fascinating to me. But from a practical standpoint, it's about your gut. It's about your intestine. It's about your stomach. It's about your gallbladder, especially about the stomach. We, we've been talking about uh, this whole, the whole idea of acid in the stomach. Acidification of the contents of the stomach is critical for all of this to occur. In fact, you could say that the fat processing system begins at the stomach. In fact, I take that back. The fat processing system begins in your mouth. Oh, wait a minute. I take that back. The fat processing system begins in your brain. Just thinking about digestion will stimulate digestive juices, including the digestive juices that help us digest our fats. That's why paying attention when you're eating is so important. That's why you don't want to be eating while you're doing other things. If you eat, read while you eat, or you're in a meeting while you eat, or you're on a date, or you're in a, having a, a, some kind of a, 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 I don't know, lunch appointment while you're eating, and you're talking to somebody, or you're driving, and you're listening to the radio, and you're not focusing on the food, you're depriving your, your body of one of the most important ways, uh, one of the, uh, the most important routes of biochemistry for digestion, most important ways to amp up your, bi your, your digestive biochemistry. Focusing on food turns on digestive juices. And then chewing your food helps break down, uh, help, helps break down uh, foods, not just fats, but also carbs and protein. So even before you get to the stomach, you've got fat processing going on in places where you can leverage fat processing chemistry. But once the food drops into your stomach, stomach acid plays a major, major role in how the body processes or how the body doesn't process fats. And ultimately, that has a huge role to play well, in health or the lack thereof. All right, 844 is our number. We'll be back right after this on The Bright Side. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. Thanks for listening. Friends, we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at BenFuchsArchives.com, also BrightSideBen.com. Thank you, Peter, in the U.K. for setting that up. That is BenFuchsArchives.com. That's a a webpage with lots of all my websites all compiled into one website, and that was somewhat of an undertaking, so thank you, Peter, for doing that. And then uh, there's a search engine up there as well. There's also a search engine at brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, off our websites, and you can purchase all our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist, Truth Collagen Recovery Complex, and our Truth Blemish Repair Complex at truthtreatments.com. If you're tired of dealing with blemishes and zits and broken out skin, or you just want a nice overall nutritional supplement for liver health, that's my blemish repair complex. It's got NAC in it and vitamin E and chromium and the whole B complex, especially vitamin B5 as well as zinc, and also astrogen, which is a blend of the herb astragalus and ginseng, which helps drive nutrients across tissues and into cells. Blemish Repair Complex is available at truthtreatments.com along with all our other Truth Skin Health products. All right, we'll take your calls this segment, 844-236-6010. Got Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard coming up at the bottom of the hour. She's a, uh, the host of the show Waking Up in America and also a uh, just an overall therapist. She's a student of The Master Key, which is a really interesting book by Charles Hanel, H-A-A-N-A-L. Wrote it back in the, I think the 1920s or so. Uh, and she's also cured herself as cancer w- from cancer, which is really, to me, that's super fascinating. I'm always, I'm always interested in how people cure themselves, or I should say leverage their body's divine curative powers themselves um, to help heal and uh, to help reverse chronic degenerative disease. We'll talk to Val at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your calls this segment, 844-236-6010. Let's go to my good friend, Mary in Oregon. What's up, Mary? Well, I don't know if anybody's interested, but in case somebody's interested in how I did uh, with leg cramps at the convention, I called you last week because when I had flown to my uh, family reunion in May, I had terrible leg cramps during the night, so I called you for help so I wouldn't have them when I flew to the convention. Yeah. And I did not have them. What did you do? Uh, well, you gave me some great advice. I felt terrible that I didn't realize that I had to to, to get uh, all the electrolytes. You know, I didn't want to just do the magnesium and balance, but um, I didn't have those on hand, so I took your advice of just upping it somewhat, and um, that's what I did. I just increased the magnesium. Nice. You know, to, Thoughtfully is how as a good way to put it. Yeah, you don't want to take too much magnesium. You end up you'll end up running to the bathroom a lot and be bloated and gassy. It can be pretty uncomfortable. Uh, how much do you take? Uh, let's see. I, I have to get my. Um, oh, that's all right. I just if you top of your head, electrolytes and cramping or lack of electrolytes and cramping go hand in hand. In fact, you want to re- you want to regard night cramps or uh, restless leg syndrome, just leg cramps that you get if you're sitting for long periods of time. Some people get leg cramps just spontaneously. They'll just be standing around. I get a leg cramp. Uh, first thing you want to think of is uh, electrolyte deficiencies or electrolyte imbalances. If you're drinking lots of water, that can happen. That's why I like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine so much. It helps replace electrolytes that are lost by drinking a lot of water. A lot of folks don't realize that the more water you drink, the more electrolytes you need because you're urinating out your electrolytes, and that can be a cause of restless leg issues or or leg cramps. The B vitamins are important. I don't want to just say the electrolytes. The B vitamins are important. Essential fats are important. But if you had to pick one group of nutrients for dealing with leg cramps quickly, I I would go with the electrolytes. And you're you know if you can't do all the electrolytes, then do magnesium. Although you do, it's a good idea to balance everything out. Do you have a question for us, Mary? No, I I've got your answer. I took eight hundred milligrams to. Okay. Uh, and I'm not good at converting, but to twelve hundred right. milligrams. Okay. And you didn't do any potassium? or Well, you're drinking your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, right? Right. Yeah, I upped that. You told me to up that. Well, there you go. Good job. Well, it was nice to see you last week, and uh, thank you so much for calling. We'll get uh, one more call in before we have to take a break, and we'll go to my other friend in Oregon, Truth Raider. What's up, Carl? Good morning. This is uh, the Truth Raider from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> good, good morning. I, I got, uh, good morning. Brief question. 
Yes. I talked to you before about this on air, but I didn't get a definite answer because we were talking about two other subjects, topics. Okay. I have a, I have root rot in the upper gum there. I was very sick with it, and I hurt for a long time, for a few, so several years, but it's finally rotted, <laughs> rotted out. But I have a cap tooth that's over it that's doing just fine that replaces replaces the uh, my, my natural tooth that was there before. So it's doing great, but the problem is I've got decay in there, and I can taste it, and I can press it's on not my good. cheek there. I, I don't that. like the term so root rot called? either. That sounds kind of disgusting. Let's just say root decay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what it is, the root inside is it's is rotting, rotting. No it is rotting that's it's cavities inside the root that's basically what it is uh and yeah. it can be it it can be really tough to deal with i would be dealing with it as a sign of gum disease personally now i'm assuming you're brushing you know about you know how you, how you do you know how yeah. to brush correctly i know that sounds stupid but a lot of us don't brush correctly oh, have I, you ever you know how to, you know how to brush correctly there, and and use floss yeah. correctly and there's and you can yeah, actually take it that. what's I that do all that that's the, I okay, so I'm going to assume you do that correctly, but for listeners, don't assume that just because you're brushing and flossing that you're doing it correctly. So if you don't do it correctly, it's, you know, you're not going to get the benefits. At least you're not going to get, well, you may not get any benefits if you don't do it correctly. So learning to brush and, and floss correctly is definitely important. And, and while I talk about biochemistry in this program, that's, there are mechanical things on the exterior of our body that we can do to stay healthy. So uh, I would be looking at gum disease personally, uh, working on building the connective tissue. I think I might have told you that before. Uh, building the connective well, tissue. Uh, you go ahead. Yeah. Well, well, what's going on? Everything's fine. Everything feels good. Everything is strong. But the problem is, I had the decay that's inside. I was wanting to find out if you had an alternative method where I can go in there and be able to get that no. rot out without having to do no. Time and I wouldn't. Out. No, and I wouldn't be messing with it either. The teeth are okay. a major entry point for bacteria that can pr present problems into the inside of the body. So you don't want to play right. around with any dental problems, personally. That's my opinion. Okay. You, you know, everybody's okay. entitled their opinion if they disagree. But personally, I think when you have dental problems, you find a good dentist. And when you find okay. a good dentist, keep him. And by good, I don't yeah. just mean a technician. I mean somebody who's savvy enough to, be, to know what to look for, to prevent problems. So I, I, yeah, I wouldn't mess around with anything with the teeth. Go ahead. It would be a definite extraction if I go to a dentist for sure, because that's the only option that they would give me would be to extract that. Uh, you know, don't tumor. underestimate the importance of bacterial inoculation into the bloodstream through the mouth. It's a very, it's a very, very important part of disease, especially heart disease. So no, I wouldn't. Okay. I, if you need it extracted, you need it extracted. That's how it goes. And yeah. and you know, I have a friend who's a a, 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 a archaeo, a anthropological dentist. He studies dentistry from an anthropological right. perspective. And he says the gum, and he tells me that the gums and the teeth are really very poorly formed from, uh, uh, for, uh, for modern eating. And he says even lions right. and, and animals in zoos end up with dental problems. He's actually a big game dentist, this guy. And he operates on lions and tigers and bears and walruses and various big animals. Uh, and uh, he tells me that even animals that are uh, eating domesticated type zoo foods have dental problems. And uh, it's just yeah. the teeth, are the, you know, it, it's just the way we eat, the way we process our food. In fact, the initial studies, some of the very, very beginning studies that linked uh, nutrition with good health were done by a dentist named Weston Price, which is another interesting sure. story that we don't have time for. Uh, thanks for your call, Carl. Appreciate it. And that is it. We, we're going to take, uh, we're going to have a guest at the bottom of the hour. So if you, uh, we didn't get you this call, uh, this segment or this show, call us back tomorrow. We'll talk to Dr. Val Valerie Kierkegaard in our next segment. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben thank you for joining us on the bright side today please check out our websites brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products we've got blogs blog posts and news stories as well as videos lots of good health information free health information at brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and don't forget to check out our true skin health products at truthtreatments.com our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist and our Truth Collagen Recovery Complex and our Truth Blemish Repair Complex and all the other awesome self-formulated, if I do say so myself. I formulated them all, so I think they're awesome. And you might think they're awesome as well. We've been selling uh, sold millions of dollars of these products in the last few years. And uh, you can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. I am very excited to have our next guest on. Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard is a uh, radio person and a therapist. She's like me. She's a radio person and a therapist and also uh, 
studies the healing arts in all of its esoteric dimensions, you might say, and she is not, not only studies it academically, but from a research standpoint, she lives it as well. She cured herself of cancer, two kinds of cancer, breast cancer and colon cancer, and I've known Val for a couple of years since I was a guest on her, her radio program. She's the producer and host of Waking Up in America. She is an author and a marriage and family counseling therapist and just an all-around very, very intelligent and esoteric lady. Please welcome Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard. Hey, Val. That is such an outstanding welcome. Thank you, Ben. Uh Oh, no, thank you. I'm excited to have you on here. Uh, before I even get started, I noticed that you, uh, you say you identify as being born into a Christian science family. And I think that's kind of interesting given that you've studied A Course in Miracles and The Master Key uh, by Charles Sennell and uh, Landmark. You and I have talked about that a lot. And plus you've healed yourself using some of these techniques. What exactly is Christian science and how does that, how does that lead to any of this stuff? Well, it's all about how you're using uh, your intelligence. Okay, and it, it all and it depends upon uh, you actually accepting that there's a power greater than you, which mm. unfortunately people that are atheistic don't have the pleasure of that safety. When you know there's a power greater than you are, and it cuts across all kinds of lines, Ben, it cuts across the Course in Miracles, it cuts across Landmark, it cuts across Insight, all the transformational seminars they all have this conversation that there's a field, and in Landmark, it's the quantum field that's identified as that. If you're doing Course in Miracles, you're ending up in the quantum field, too. If you're doing Charles Sennell's Master Key, that takes uh -huh. you straight to the quantum field as well. When you practice certain points of view rather than live by your opinion, and when you live by universal law, it's a game changer. It's interesting you say that, because you, you can almost think like your personal opinion is like a dot in the field. And you deprive yourself of the entire field. And Einstein said it's about the field. That's not like a direct quote from him, literally. It's about right. the field. And I honestly believe E equals MC squared was actually his investigation into um, the field. The field is God. That's great. I love that. That's awesome. The field could be God. I mean, there's a lot of synonyms. It's all knowing, right? All present. Uh, omniscient, all present, and what's the other one? Om omniscient, all present, and there's another Keep all. Keep going, you're doing better than my memory is. I forgot what the, the three moment. of them were. There's omniscient, um, all knowing, all present, and eternal, never ending. And that's and what the field is, right? Collapse. Isn't that because the field? The field never ends. The field, the field could be said to be all. Ends it's, it's all knowing, it never dies, it never goes away. And we don't study the far. field. We, uh, even Buddhism and meditation are about going into the field. There's Absolutely. so many ways you can. They all are. I, I yeah, think they all are. I noticed, I might have mentioned in there somewhere that in my 20th year, I went to like my girlfriends and I got together. We went to about 20, 25 different churches that year, from all the way from Science of Mind to Greek Orthodox. Okay. Uh, even though the. That's a wide spectrum right there. And, Greek. You know, we objected to some of the points of view and stuff. I noticed that, I noticed that divinity was present in all of the gatherings. Right. Right. Well, it should. How could it not be? Because divinity is everywhere, and divinity is in the body. You know, there's nowhere where divinity is not. And I think that's really, really important. It sounds kind of airy fairy, right? But, but we wouldn't you know have Bernard CD. Are you familiar with his work? Who? Bernard Gunther. Uh, G U E N T H E R. It sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, he for some... actually was one of the people that developed the Esalen Institute. And oh yeah, I've heard of him. Yes, and he was a he was a big proponent of using these ideas in a practical standpoint, from a practical point of view as well, wasn't he? Well, he told me that life is like the sky, and our emotions are like the clouds that go in the sky, and mm -hmm. that the sky or the field is a constant, and then mm -hmm. we either include ourselves or we separate ourselves from the field by what we hold on to and how we perceive things. I mean, one of the mm -hmm. reasons I created Happily 200, uh, Ben, was that I knew that people were being programmed to die right before they're 100 or right around there because that's mm -hmm. the program. Mm -hmm. And they're they're ready for it. I mean, I've got they're I've programmed. Got relatives, they're all it's packed a... up and ready to go, and have given their stuff away, and blah 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 blah. And I thought it's... this is programming. And then Joel yeah. Wallach, who I heard uh, come up earlier, he had a brilliant interview with Barbara Walters. I want to say four or five years ago, in which he said uh, that people would easily live that were born to this time to 150 years old. Yep. That's and then you start thing. looking at, like, how would that be? And once somebody grasps 
the idea that it actually is possible to live to be 200. I've actually talked to somebody that's 175, by the way. Once they start, once you put yourself into something and start to look at it, yeah, then people start contributing things. to you. This guy lives in South America. Uh, I can't remember the name of the cancer doctor that he lives with, but they left the country because the government was after them for being having an effect or effective cancer cures. So uh, this whole idea of, uh, of longevity and programming, and I had somebody tell me that the highways and the speed of life are designed to keep people who are getting older from wanting to stay around too long. Like even, even the way the roads are constructed, somebody once told me, and he, this guy okay. told me it, that, that it's one. happening more and more at a more accelerated pace. Go ahead. I, so I was going to say I hadn't heard of that particular point of view. I do know that the GMOs are designed to take us out. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's all of these things. But the, the, see, the, here's the thing. This is why I call my program The Bright Side. Through this divine force, we have access to the field that you're talking about. We can bypass all of that. We can neutralize all of the programming. But we have to be conscious about it. We have to be aware of it, right? That, well, that's, that's where the you want to go check out drvalerie.com because I figured out how to do that in 1984. And it turns out that when I ask people uh, if they're upset about something where they hold the anger or the frustration in their body, they'll yeah. tell me. And then I'll ask them the first time they ever held it. And sometimes it's a past life. It's the most amazing thing I ever saw. It didn't even occur to me when I started the process. Say that again, Mel. Well, I was working with a woman the other day. I do telephone consulting now because it gives me global access. Okay. And uh, she's a very famous artist who had trouble producing something that she wanted to produce. So we wanted to look at what was stopping her from being in the flow that you and I have been referring to. And she had uh, body sensations. If you get them in the face, they're usually um, embarrassment or shame. If you get them in the jaw, they're usually anger. There's a whole set of places that body sensations from previous, I'm going to say, do you know what a cathexis is? Yeah, sure. Like okay, a, like so. a, well, okay. Actually, maybe I don't know what a cachex. Well, hang on, we'll take a break and we'll explain it when we come back. Uh, I, th I, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Val Kierkegaard, Dr. Kierkegaard. I'm, I want to get into how you actually uh, cured yourself uh, of cancer because that's, that's super fascinating to me. We'll uh, take a commercial break and come back with more good health information and Dr. Val Kierkegaard on the bright side right after this. On the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us on the Bright Side today. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. We've got blogs, blog posts, and news stories, as well as videos, lots of good health information, free health information at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And don't forget to check out our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist and our Truth Collagen Recovery Complex and our Truth Blemish Repair Complex and all the other awesome self-formulated, if I do say so myself, I formulated them all, so I think they're awesome. And you might think they're awesome as well. We've been selling uh, sold millions of dollars of these products in the last few years. And uh, you can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. I am very excited to have our next guest on. Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard is a uh, radio person and a therapist. She's like me. She's a radio person and a therapist and also uh, studies the healing arts in all of its esoteric dimensions, you might say. And she not, not only studies it academically from a research standpoint, she lives it as well. She cured herself of cancer, two kinds of cancer, breast cancer and colon cancer. And I've known Val for a couple of years since I was a guest on her, her radio program. She's the producer and host of Waking Up in America. She is an author and a marriage and family counseling therapist and just an all-around very, very intelligent and esoteric lady. Please welcome Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard. Hey, Val. That is such an outstanding welcome. Thank you, Ben. Uh Oh, no, thank you. I'm excited to have you on here. Uh, before I even get started, I, I noticed that you, uh, you say you identify as being born into a Christian science family. And I think that's kind of interesting given that you've studied A Course in Miracles and The Master Key. 
uh, by Charles Sennell and uh, Landmark. You and I have talked about that a lot. And plus you've healed yourself using some of these techniques. What exactly is Christian science and how does that, how does that lead to any of this stuff? Well, it's all about how you're using uh, your intelligence, okay? And it, it all and it depends upon uh, you actually accepting that there's a power greater than you, which mm. unfortunately people that are atheistic don't have the pleasure of that safety. When you know there's a power greater than you are, and it cuts across all kinds of lines, Ben, it cuts across the Course in Miracles, it cuts across Landmark, it cuts across insight. All the transformational seminars, they all have this conversation that there's a field. And in Landmark, it's the quantum field that's identified as that. If you're doing Course in Miracles, you're ending up in the quantum field, too. If you're doing Charles Sennell's Master Key, that takes uh-huh. you straight to the quantum field as well. When you practice certain points of view rather than live by your opinion, and when you live by universal law, it's a game changer. It's interesting you say that because you, you could almost think like your personal opinion is like a dot in the field and you deprive yourself of the entire field. And Einstein said it's about the field. That's not like a direct quote from him, literally. It's about right. the field. And I honestly believe E equals MC squared was actually his investigation into um, the field. The field is God. That's great. I love that. That's awesome. The field could be God. I mean, there's a lot of synonyms. It's all knowing, right? All present. Uh, omniscient, all present, and what's the other one? Om- omniscient, all present, and there's another Keep all. Going, you're doing better than my memory. Is I forgot what the, the, the three of them were. There's omniscient, um, all knowing, all present, and eternal, never ending. And that's and what the field is, right? Collapse. Isn't that because the field? The field never ends. The field, the field could be said to be ends. all. It's, it's all knowing. It never dies. It never goes away. And it's we don't study the field. We, even Buddhism and meditation are about going into the field. There's Absolutely. so many ways you can. They all are. I, I yeah, they all are. I noticed, I might have mentioned in there somewhere that in my 20th year, I went to like my girlfriends and I got together. We went to about 20, 25 different churches that year, from all the way from Science of Mind to Greek Orthodox. Okay. Uh, even though the. That's a wide spectrum right there. And, Greek. You know, we objected to some of the points of view and stuff. I noticed that, I noticed that divinity was present in all of the gatherings. Right. Right. Well, it should. How could it not be? Because divinity is everywhere, and divinity is in the body. You know, there's nowhere where divinity is not. And I think that's really, really important. It sounds kind of airy fairy, right? But, but we wouldn't you know have Bernard CD. Pl- Are you familiar with his work? Who? Bernard Gunther. Uh, G U E N T H E R. It sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, he for some... actually was one of the people that developed the Esalen Institute. I mean, oh I yeah, think... I've heard of him. Yes, and he was a he was a big proponent of using these ideas in a practical standpoint, from a practical point of view as well, wasn't he? Well, he told me that life is like the sky, and our emotions are like the clouds that go in the sky, and mm-hmm. that the sky or the field is a constant, and then mm-hmm. we either include ourselves or we separate ourselves from the field by what we hold on to and how we perceive things. I mean, one of the mm-hmm. reasons I created Happily 200, uh, Ben, was that I knew that people were being programmed to die right before they're 100 or right around there, because that's mm-hmm. the program. Mm-hmm. And they're they're ready for it. I mean, I've got their program. They're all it's packed a... up and ready to go, and have given their stuff away, and blah 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 blah. blah. And I thought it's... this is programming. And then Joel yeah. Wallach, who I heard uh, come up earlier, he had a brilliant interview with Barbara Walters. I want to say four or five years ago, in which he said uh, that people would easily live that were born to this time to 150 years old. Yep. That's and then you start thing. looking at, like, how would that be? And once somebody grasps the idea that it actually is possible to live to be 200, I've actually talked to somebody that's 175, by the way. Once they start, once you put yourself into something and start to look at it, yeah, then people start you contributing things. to you. This guy lives in South America. Uh, I can't remember the name of the cancer doctor that he lives with, but they left the country because the government was after them for being having an effect or effective cancer cures. So uh, this whole idea of, uh, of longevity and programming, and I had somebody tell me that the highways and the speed of life are designed to keep people who are getting older from wanting to stay around too long. Like even, even the way the roads are constructed. Somebody once told me, and he, this guy okay. told me it, that, that it's happening more and more at a more accelerated pace. Go ahead. I was going to say I hadn't heard of that particular point of view. I do know that the G- GMOs are designed to take us out. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, there's all of these things. But the, the, see, here's the thing. This is why I call my program The Bright Side. Through this divine force, we have access to the field that you're talking about. We can bypass all of that. We can neutralize all of the programming, but we have to be conscious about it. We have to be aware of it, right? That, well, that's that's where you want to go check out drvalerie.com because I figured out how to do that in 1984. And it turns out that when I ask people uh, if they're upset about something where they hold the anger or the frustration in their body, they'll yeah. tell me. And then I'll ask them the first time they ever held it. And sometimes it's a past life. It's the most amazing thing I ever saw. It didn't even occur to me when I started the process. Say that again, Mel. Well, I was working with a woman the other day. I do telephone consulting now because it gives me global access. Okay. And uh, she's a very famous artist who had trouble producing something that she wanted to produce. So we wanted to look at what was stopping her from being in the flow that you and I have been referring to. And she had... Uh, Body sensations, if you get them in the face, they're usually um, embarrassment or shame. If you get them in the jaw, they're usually anger. There's a whole set of places that body sensations from previous, I'm going to say, do you know what a cathexis is? Yeah, sure. Okay. Like a, actually, maybe I don't know what a a cathexis, well, hang we'll take a break and we'll explain it when we come back. Uh, I I, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Val Kierkegaard, Dr. Kierkegaard. I want to get into how you actually... Uh, cured yourself uh, of cancer because that's that's super fascinating to me we'll uh, take a commercial break and come back with more good health information and dr val kierkegaard on the bright side right after this if you owe any money to the irs you need to call star star one two three four that's star star one two three four Uncle Sam has the power to make your life miserable. You could stop the IRS collections process right now by calling star star one two three four. When you call the Tax Defense Center, you'll get free information on how you can reduce or eliminate your back taxes, including penalties and interest. Star star one two three four. Star star one two three four could save you thousands on your back taxes. You could also be helped if you have unfiled returns, a tax lien, wage garnishment, bank levy, or if you've entered into a payment plan and can't make the payments. It's your hard-earned money. Stop Uncle Sam right now. Make the call that could help you end the worry today. Star Star 1234. That's Star Star 1234. Star Star 1234. Star Star 1234. Advertising is simple. It starts with someone who has a need. Mom! And then gets more specific. Mom, I want pizza. Then we add urgency. I want pizza tonight. Before you know it, your GCN advertising message is reaching millions of listeners. Listeners who are definitely in need. We We want want pizza! You see, advertising on GCN is simple. Your message meets their need, and the result means new business for you. Tell us about your business. Then let our super creative department go to work to craft just the right message to feed those who have an urgent need. We want pizza tonight! GCN has the most affordable national radio advertising rates, period. And millions of people listen to GCN radio programs on over 1,000 AM and FM and XM stations and streaming audio live. Get started today with GCN, the Genesis Communications Network. Just shoot us an email, advertise at GCNlive.com. Looking for that edge during those intimate moments? We see many ads for enhancement, but the side effects include death. At GCN Team, we should change the Healthy Body Brain and Heart Pack to the Healthy Libido Pack. The brain and heart are not the only organs that require a healthy vascular system. For proper blood flow at the right moment, go to GCNTeam.com or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Aging is one thing that affects everyone. George has talked about the power of stem cells for years. Now there's a new serum that harnesses that stem cell power to bring back your youthful look. Beverly Hills doctor, Nathan Newman. Stem cells are basically our fountain of youth. This is what maintains our body's uh, reparative regenerative abilities. As we age, every cell breaks down and has to be replaced, and what replaces it is the stem cell. Dr. Newman and Janess have developed Luminess. Luminess. 
Sanes takes the science of stem cells using the same growth factor complex that literally heals our cells, slowing the appearance of the aging process. Apply Luminous twice daily and on average, see results in a week. Learn more, watch our video, and order today at a special Coast website, healthylooking.com. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, that's healthylooking.com. Luminous for a healthier, much younger, better-looking you. Buy now at healthylooking.com. Has your body ever gone low blood sugar feeling weak, shaky, knowing you better eat something fast? We all know high blood sugar can lead to many metabolic problems. At GCNteam.com, we have a healthy blood sugar pack, focusing on the structure and function of stable blood sugar. Find us at GCNteam.com or call 877-878-4203. Nothing feels worse than unstable blood sugar. Call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Dr. Val Kierkegaard, who is a uh, who's the host and producer of Waking Up in America, as well as a writer and a therapist and a student of health esoterica, I guess you could say, right, Val? <laughs> I, well, I just bad. made that up. Health esoterica. So you're talking about cachexis. I know what cachexia is. Is that the same idea, cachexia being wasting away disorder, wasting away disease? Yeah, well, cachexis is actually, if, if I walked up behind you and I said boo and you jumped, yeah, your body would freeze that moment. Oh, the freeze response. Cathexis. Uh-huh, and that's you, you cathexis, mean, okay. Cathexis, okay. Gotcha. The catharsis is when you release the energy. And in this Got it. Men it's Wilhelm and Reich. children are taught not to cry. That's Wilhelm Reich. Are you familiar with him? He oh, talked about that, that. I use Wilhelm Reich to develop directed breath. I believe and it. And what I do is I ask a series of questions. If somebody is, for instance, having a, a let's say they've been diagnosed with cancer, and let's say uh, they may have a tension in their solar plexus or something of that nature, I will say, how old are you the first time you can remember this tension? And they'll go back to an episode, and then you can find out what was thought or felt at that particular age. Usually it's before 10. And then you erase you erase the charge on it, and it, and it becomes catharsis. And then the thinking, mm. which was frozen in place with the cathexis, actually releases and the person, you can literally hear their language evolve. Well, hang on. That's, that's so powerful what you just said. You said a couple things. First of all, have you heard of orgone energy? Are you familiar with that idea? Exactly what I'm working with. Okay, that's what I was about to say then. Uh, it's just for the listeners, Dr. Wilhelm Reich was a, was a, I think he was a, was he a psychiatrist? He was a medical doctor. I think he might have been a psychiatrist. And he came up with this idea of holding tension in and then releasing it and disorders in that process. He said to well, holding tensions, he said holding tension, correct me if I'm wrong here, Val. He said holding tensions and releasing it gives maximum pleasure and holding tension without releasing it is a cause of disease. Did I get that right? 100% right. And I actually heard this. I actually took the last death training and the first forum training. And it was in either the forum training or the death training that, that I heard the conversation of Wilhelm Reich in the Oregon box, which answered a question for me because I couldn't figure out where emotional disturbances were held. And when I heard what he was saying, I realized that they were held in the musculature and Mm-hmm. And then later on, I found out they're also held in the field. I don't know if most people mm-hmm. consider this, Ben, but we are actually human beings inside of an electromagnetic field. Of course, absolutely. Okay, yeah. And so every, the whole, if it's one a, field, let, we're just like pieces, like waves in it. Exactly. Okay, what's interesting is if you take something like a Curlian camera, do you know what that is? Of course, yes. Have you heard of Harry Oldfield's Curlian camera? I haven't. Uh, well, uh, I, I thought he was a racetrack driver. No, but... no, get his book on pictures of the Carillion Field. It's really amazing. Uh, uh, well, and for I anybody out there. I have one of those little Carillion Field machines in my house, in my office in Pasadena. And when my clients would come in, if they were fighting, for instance, I could have them stick their finger inside of this machine, and you could actually watch their fields battling each other. Oh, that's wild. That's amazing. How about the colors of the field? Did it change based on how angry they were or anything? 
this machine wasn't that distinct. The one that uh-huh. was in Century City, there was a woman in Century City for years. I don't know if she's still there or not. But you would actually go up, and her computer would take pictures of your exact aura colors and then translate what you were experiencing emotionally. But once you release, once you could start the energy, the field changes. Okay, that, that and makes perfect sense. And it becomes sense. an invitation to something else. I think we should zero back on cancer because I don't know uh, yeah, how much cancer time we've and got also- here, Ben. Yeah, no, can't, but cancer has a lot to do, at least according to Ray, Ray, who wrote a book called The Cancer Biopathy, which is a really cool book where he talks about this idea of cachex, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't used those terms, but we'll use those terms, cachexia or cathexia and catharsis. Uh, he talks close. about them as polarities, tension and release, but he relates it to cancer. So talk right. about how, talk about how this Everything, whole thing is connected okay? to cancer. And it even, I used to think it was very, very woo-woo about a little bit about past lives, and then I realized that we all have past lives inside of our DNA. Any incomplete incident from the Literally. past life of the ancestor will show up until it gets completed, and that's one of the. That's why we can walk over. We can travel, time travel through the the lines right. because we don't live in a linear reality. We've actually been told it is, but we live inside of a tube torus. And for listeners, you can go, that's T-U-B-T-O-R-O-U-S. Like a donut, U-S. Like Look a donut kind of thing. Well, it's a donut in some technologies and others. It's a wave. You know, you and I were talking about waving in and out of cancer. Uh, what we're actually talking about in everything, uh, it was really interesting because who got this best? was a guy that came over to help move some furniture, and he was talking about having cancer. And I was talking to him about just simply putting the body into um, an alkaline state, which is 7 plus, because cancer can't live there. So he goes, and he's looking at me, and he goes, oh, you mean like a jacuzzi? I said, boy, do you have that fast? (laughs) If anybody's ever adjusted their jacuzzi bed, you test the water, and you make sure that the water is over a certain point, that you have a certain amount of chlorine, if you get... Mm -hmm acid in, you have to put in a pH balancer, and there's this magical thing, you can get it on Amazon, or probably on eBay as well, it's called litmus paper. Uh-huh. And you just take the litmus paper and you test your pH. And and you keep your pH over 7, and you're, you don't have cancer, because cancer can't survive in a pH over 7. So that's how you dealt with your cancer? That's one of the ways I dealt with it. One of the things that's really important in life and very negative is the things that annoy you, the things you put up with, the things you don't have the courage or the intelligence to realize that you can alter, okay? I cannot tell you, I think the cancer diagnosis is one of the best things that ever happened to me. Because I remember when she said, well, you... You have it in your colon and in your breath. And I said, don't worry, I don't die of this. And she says, where did you learn to talk like that? And I said, Landmark. Uh, I want to, I want to I talk about Landmark. Is that I was being given a report on a condition uh, that I had tolerated too many things that were uncomfortable for me. And I had a tenant at my house who just used to make me nuts, but I was always trying to help him. I asked him to move. I had a lot of stuff around the house that wasn't functional. I either threw it out, gave it away, or fixed it. My house is incredibly beautiful now. I get miracles all over the place. But the cancer is what? The diagnosis of cancer and the realization that I had to keep my body pH alkaline, and I had to remove all the negative stuff from my life, and I've done that with, like with a toothbrush. And I reversed my aging. I'm 78, and I look now. I've lost about 10 years in well, what I look like. You're 78 years old. The products I take. And by the way, I take products from different companies. You know. Uh, well, I can't from, believe you're 78, Val. That's amazing. From Kayani to um, to Longevity. Right now, I just got your Killer Biotic. Oh, that's great! I didn't realize you were doing Longevity. That's that's even better, Doctor well, Valerie. I see. What you have to know is each company has its own area of expertise and its own brilliant people working with it. And they look at different things. And Dr. Wallach, I've had the privilege of having Dr. Wallach on my show. I consider, I think he's done something like 19,000 autopsies or something of that nature. He's really paid attention to what it is that makes things click. Well, so is Dr. Dave Carpenter of the Thrive HGH. And my girlfriend actually called me up and got me on a pituitary reversal thing. 
and I am actually younger than I was last year. And then I put that together with the um, Randy Shannon, my co-host. She's just an amazing person in longevity. She's yes, inspired me too. And I do these different things, and people are looking at me, and they're going, how do you do this? But where does Landmark fit into this whole thing? Because we only have about a minute. And I definitely want to, because it seems to me like it's great, all Thrive and Longevity and, you know, all the alkaline stuff is great. But the mind, trans, to me anyway, the mind the transcends mind, it all. I got it, it only took me 100 seminars then. <laughs> okay. What did you get? <laughs> the Landmark told, taught me how to create from empty and meaningless and possibility oh, yeah. and to set opinion aside. Okay? Oh, that's great. That's so once great. you do that, and by the way, you could tell I had to go to 100 of them, and I'm not done yet. Okay, gotcha. You got some uh, reinf- opinions? You were the world champion in weightlifting, say. And then yeah. you go, okay, well, you know, I hurt my knee, and I'm not doing that. And afterwards, you can't be the world champion unless you go back to weightlifting. So if we've got something we like, we just have to keep doing it. And if we've got something we yeah. don't like... Dump it because that's, oh, that's, where that's cancer such great. That's and such great advice. There's and bites Valerie, and we're out of time. Else. Valerie Kierkegaard, we're out of time, but that was great. There's so much more I wanted to get to. We'll have to get you back on. Uh, and then I want to come on your show too, Dr. Val. Oh, well, right. Would you like to come on this weekend? Uh, well, let's, you know what? Give me a call when we get off, okay? And we'll no, I'm, I'm just letting you know I like you so much I would make room for you. Oh, you're awesome. Yeah, give give me a call. I definitely want to come on. And thanks so much for coming on my program, too. That was Dr. Valerie Kierkegaard. Uh, and you can get her at, uh, you can email her at ambassadorkierkegaard at gmail.com. A-M-B-A-S-S-A-D-O-R-K-I-R-K-G-A-A-R-D <laughs> at gmail.com. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. <laughs>